Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of Painting with Mr. Bates. Doing something a little bit different tonight. I have a 10 by 20 canvas here set up. I have a piece of masking tape across the center of it. I applied a layer of permanent black around this section here. It's going to be kind of my dark background for you know, part of the scenes later. And then I applied a layer of, it's actually a mixture that I did of titanium white, gloss medium, and water. Basically making an acrylic version of the liquid white. So we're going to get right into it. I'm going to start off tonight uh, using a one inch brush. Normally I would be using my two inch brush, but I'm going to use a one inch brush tonight. Um, I'm going to go right into my sky blue. Just going to tap my bristles into it. And I'm going to go right on here and just with some crisscross, some X patterns here. So go right ahead and layer in my blue for the sky. It's okay if I go over that black, so I'm going to come back in and adding some more colors into it. So just keep I'm going to keep painting here, keep adding this in until I get my colors blended down. And then I'm going to go over it just like this. I'm going to get the brush strokes out of it. So now we have our sky blue up here. We're going to come in now, and like I say, I put a layer of the my acrylic version of a liquid white and I'm um, crossing my fingers and hoping that this works out. If it does, I'll tell you how that works. I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab one of my fan brushes. I think I'm going to use my number two fan brush. I'm going to dip into some titanium white. Just load my brush up. And just with the corner of the brush, I think I'm going to go right about here. And just kind of, just with the corner. Just kind of swirling around. You have the indication of some clouds. It's not going to be, I don't want it to be a very cloudy sky this time. So maybe it'll be some light clouds. Maybe we'll get a little, just a little light. Light clouds going around here, nothing major. Like I say, just, just some really, really, really off in the distance faint clouds. Got one kind of just springing off like that. And then I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab a dry, completely dry two inch brush. And I'm just going to kind of use the corner of it. Just using the corner. Tapping. Just to blend those clouds, and I'm just going to barely, barely touch. As Bob Ross would say, two hairs in the air, just to get it on there. All right, that worked out great. I'm going to kind of close it just kind of knock that brush off a bit, get a little bit of the excess paint off. This is working great. That background coat that I put on there that my, my acrylic version of a liquid white is working out really great. I'm, I'm blending my colors and it's almost as if I'm using an oil paint here. So I'm loving it so far. Uh, working out really good. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to come in and I'm going to go ahead and grab 
we're going to get my one inch brush back and we're going to grab some a little, bit of, a little bit of a phthalo green and maybe maybe a touch of the phthalo blue well i think i'll put a little bit of that crimson in there as well why not oh yeah i like that it's kind of a dark really dark green i'm gonna get a touch of that gray that range gray Phthalo, phthalo blue, phthalo green, a little bit of crimson, a little bit of that range gray. And then I'm just going to come in and I'm going to decide where where I want some trees at in this. So there's some bushes going. So I think I'm going to go right here and I'm going to start, start right about here. Maybe we got some, maybe we got some trees right here with some. With some overhangs. We got some branches kind of hanging off here. And this is going to be a nice big mountain range here. I'm just going to, just taking it and just pull it. base coat mixture is working wonderful. I'm able to move this paint just as if I was working with a just as if I was working with the oil paints. The idea of having the piece of tape here, the masking tape, is this is going to be like a two panel painting. Uh, it'll be almost as if I had two of the, the smaller canvases separate and they would be hanging on the wall side by side to make a, uh, a two, two panel canvas, two panel painting. That's the idea behind this. And this way we have one solid canvas, a 10 by 20 canvas, divided right in the middle with the masking tape. And then as it comes across, you'll have that division to give the illusion of having two panels there. All right, so that turned out pretty good. We're going to go back now. I'm going to grab my one-inch brush. And I'm going to get a little bit of the, just with the brush, just going to mix on the brush, a little bit of the, little bit of the phthalo blue, a little bit of the sky blue. Mix those together. Grab a touch of the titanium white. And give a little bit more of that phthalo blue. Just starting on this other hand again i'm not worried about too much about the, the dark color here because i'm going to come back over that that was just to roughly give me an idea of where i wanted but i'm going to start at the bottom working from the outside Transmit 
this side here. Don't go all the way to the edge on this side. I'll start right about here. to which direction our light source is going to be coming from. And I think our light's going to be coming in from this side. So it's going to come in and maybe this tree's going to come all the way off the canvas. So we'll start right up here at the top and we're just going to pull down. Then we're going to grab our liner brush. I'm going to get it kind of wet. Get some of that same color. I'm going to moisten that a little bit. I want it to be really thin. I'm just going to roll this little bit of a liner brush in here. Load it up with the paint. And come over here and just one side of it, grab some of that same color, and I'm just going to give it some give it some little limbs here coming off. Here we just got one that kind of is off to the top. And this one kind of goes out behind this side here. You know those limbs that just kind of go in all kinds of directions. more moisture here on my to do this we really want the paint to be really thin. You can do this with water with the acrylics you can do it with water or if you're using paint thinner you can use paint thinner. Pull that out and I'm just gonna Oh, much better. I'm just tapping in. Tapping in some color. It'll go a tad darker with that. There's more of that dark, that rain free in there.
gonna switch to my number four hand brush here. Got the darker colors put in on, on my tree here and also on these sides over here. Now I wanna come in and I wanna put a little bit of highlight, a little bit of, uh, bring a little bit of brightness in towards that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of my bright green and I'm just gonna mix it on my brush. A touch of the yellow ochre I'll go right here and mix them together using the brush. I'm just going to get a touch of the touch of the phthalo green. There we go. A little bit darker color. Load up my fan brush. And we're going to come in and just start working on just using the corner of the brush. Now it's kind of tapping in and up at the same time. Touch more of that phthalo green, darken that up just a tad. Taking the bottom down there just to get some of that excess paint off the brush. Alright, we're going to wash that brush. And we're going to grab our palette knife. A little bit of paper towel on here. I'm just going to wipe off and make sure it's good and dry. Alright, now we're going to work on our mountain. I'm going to grab some of this titanium white. It's okay if a little bit of that grayish mixture is in there. Grab a little bit of it. And then we're just going to come in. Really not looking for a lot of snow feature on this. I want this to be a nice, maybe a spring mountain scene. Maybe our mountain, maybe our snow is starting to melt a little bit. quiet rainy night here. Alright, it's not going to be too worried about how that's going to look because we're going to have a lot of greenery coming in this, a lot of trees is going to be in this one. I'll leave my 
pallet it down for just a second. I want to show you one quick thing. This was the mixture that we used, and you can see it is still really, really moist and wet, nice and loose. Um, so this is my my acrylic version of a liquid white, and I must say I was very pleased with the way that it worked. Um, it had a great coverage on my canvas. It allowed me to get a really good cover. was able to get the blending that I wanted to get with my sky and moving the mountain when I, when I put the colors over the mountain and allowed me to move those colors really well. Um, now, not so much worried about it because I'm not doing quite as much blending now. So I, working with the acrylics, I kind of want it to be semi-dry, not really wet, not really dry so I'm not too much worried about putting any more in there if it came down to it I could take my spray bottle and stand you know kind of far back because I wouldn't want to get it really wet and just get me a light mist over the canvas but I really don't want to have to do that unless I absolutely have to because I risk getting water droplets in it but now we're going to come in we're going to work on and I'm going to go down to my probably my half inch brush and I'm going to start working on some ground cover around this area um, tree lines up around the back part of the mountains here. Start working on covering all of this, getting it filled in, getting our colors in. We're going to build forward and we'll be right back. I'm going to uh, get my brushes clean and clean off my palette a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Went ahead um, during the short little break there, I went ahead and laid in um, some greenery along the um, bottom half here, built up my land, some bushes and everything. Now I'm going to come in, we're going to work on some trees. Uh, I've got some fan brushes I'm going to work with. Me. First, I'm going to start with a smaller fan brush. Uh, I'll start with one of the small ones here. So number two, I'm going to grab a little bit of this uh, phthalo green. A little bit of the range gray and a touch of burnt sienna. I've added on to my palette. And I'm just going to load up my brush. And then we're going to go back here. We're going to decide uh, where we want some trees at. And I think I'm going to put I'm going to start with one right here. Just kind of off in the background. Off in the distance so it doesn't have any real detail to it and it's way off in the back so you can't really can't really see it I'm gonna stick with the same color here and now we're gonna go maybe there's one right over here right about there evergreens back in the back. Can't really see them. I'm just going to tap in some indications of some back there. They're way off in the distance. Here, maybe we've got a little bit of a tree trunk showing through, some stuff you can't hardly see. All right, I'm done with that one. Now we're going to go in, we're going to grab our um, our larger number two fan brush. This is a stiffer, a stiffer bristle. And we're going to go in for another bit of our bravery here. We're going to decide where we're going to go. I want, I want one more nice, nice size tree. Nothing, I don't want them really huge. Probably going to come right about in here, just a little small one coming off of this little peninsula here. But just a, a, a decent size. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab some range gray. 
and some burnt sienna. I'm just going to mix these two colors together with the brush. side of the brush just grab some of the titanium white on one side of the brush. So I've got both sides of the brush going here. Alright now let's get blade. Where are we going to go? I think it's going to be right here. So we're just going to start right about here. We're going right there. Not huge. It's going to be just, just coming off the pencil here. We'll come back in and we'll fill this in. All right, so we're going to clean off this brush here. We're going to give it a quick, quick wash. We want to keep using the same brush. Doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but I want to get a good bit of that dark color off. And now we're going to go into the phthalo green. Okay, if some of that phthalo blue gets off on it. I'm just going to mix it right here with a touch of the bright green. All right, we've got our fan brush loaded up here. We're just going to start and I'm kind of pushing upward with this. Gonna fill in our space area here. I'm going to grab some of this yellow ochre. I want to brighten up that green a little bit. A nice little area of moss over on this side. If you've ever been out into some of the fields, where you get that nice ground cover moss. It's a smooth, almost a, a almost a really smooth carpet. And during the spring, especially, it's a really bright green. Um, so I wanted to add that into it. All right, we're going to come back in. Let's get this brush a little bit. And we've got this one right here flying off of the, this panel. And who knows, maybe we got one right about here coming into the water. Maybe there's another one over here. Same thing, they're coming into the water. All right. I think we're going to call this painting just about finished. So let's get some color on here. Go into this burnt sienna, and we're going to sign. You know, we're going to sign it right over here in the moss. And just right next to it, we're going to grab our tape. Lock the tape now, lock it in place. And now we're going to pull up our tape. And there we go, our nice two panel painting here. Now it looks like we have two paintings side by side. And this uh, nice white space in the middle gives us the illusion of two panels. We've got this tree here coming off, coming off of this panel over onto the other one. All of this is feeding over and blending over in.
into the other panel. So a nice two panel painting here, That's our first of this try. Uh, the experiment that I did with the uh, homemade, uh, we're, we're going to call it an acrylic version of a liquid white, seemed to work out pretty good, I like that. Uh, we're going to try it again on another painting later. Things worked out really good, I, I like the way this one turned out. Uh, so hopefully we're going to get back into some more paintings. Uh, this was an experimental stage here, so I just kind of really just threw this one together, just to get an idea of it, I wanted to see how that that acrylic version of the liquid white was going to work out. I like that one. It, uh, it turned out really good and it worked great for layering in my first layers there and blending in my clouds. So I really, really love that one. Like I said, this was a practice, kind of an experimental painting. So just threw together a few things and threw in some trees here and there. Uh, I kind of like the way it turned out. So we got back into painting. Uh, my son here sitting there reaching over trying to show me his painting. I'm going to hold it up here. He did a did a nice little painting here. He's got a, a nice tree trunk here coming in. It's blowing off here. Another the ground cover. Uh, tree. And he's got a whole flock of birds in there as well. And he's got his water running down through here. I like this. The sky with a nice rainbow coming in. Uh, looks like a double rainbow actually coming in behind his tree here. So I like that. He did a really good job. So we're getting back in. We're hopefully going to get us some nice large version paintings going, get it back into our painting. We've taken a few days off, but we're going to get back into it. Stay with us and be sure to go down below and subscribe to this channel so that you can continue to follow. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page. You'll find that link right up here. Just uh, go in and put that into the search bar or into the uh, website bar up there you'll be able to go right to that page um, I'm still working on a website so I'm hoping to have that up in the next uh, week or two and we're gonna I've got a lot of ideas uh, for some paintings I want to work on I still have my large format canvas that I'm gonna be doing uh, like I said I've got a lot, a lot of ideas uh, to be working on so This one turned out better than I was expecting, especially with the experimental version of the undercoat that I did. And let me tell you what I did with that is basically it was a mixture of the gloss medium, which is this right here. It was a mixture of the gloss medium, the titanium white, and water. That was it. And just you know, mix them proportionally. And get the consistency that you want. I really wanted the consistency um, kind of loose, where it would kind of move, kind of run a little bit. Almost, almost the consistency of Elmer's glue. Um, if you've used a lot of the Elmer's school glue, you know it's got a really, um, really loose consistency like that. And it, it, it turned out really well. This has actually been made up for probably an hour or so now. And it's just been sitting in the bowl over here to the side. And it's still very loose, very moist. I wish now that I had uh, put it in a sealed container so that I could just kept it. But it was an experimental. So I may make me up a big batch of that. I like the way it turned out. And then what I did was I actually misted my canvas first before I applied that. And sprayed the water on just as I had before. And then I put that uh, coat of the, um, we're going to call that my acrylic version of the liquid white. We applied that over the entire canvas, uh, and but before I did all that, I put a coat of permanent black around this area here, uh, just because I wanted that dark background. I really didn't want to, it helped me to keep from having to go in and putting a lot of heavy colors on, and then I was able to get those dark colors to show through to give me some uh, some shadowing effects there. But I really wanted more brightness on this. I figured this was a spring version of spring picture so I like the way it turned out um, it was an experiment I just threw it in threw some things in there just to get an idea basically to see how well that paint would work so when we get back in our next painting I hope to do another large format and see where we go with that maybe we'll do another waterfall scene um, I've got a few ideas on some waterfall scenes that I want to do and um, I'm working on those so 
Until then, allow your imagination to flow freely across your canvas. This has been painting with Mr. Bates.